In this video, you are going to learn to set up your first TikTok ad step by step. Let's jump right in. The first thing that you will need to do is make sure that you have a TikTok ads account. If you don't have a TikTok ads account already, be sure to check out the link down below. That link contains the latest offer that TikTok has for you to claim ad credits. You can see right now they're running a spend 500, get $500 ad credit offer. I'll be sure to keep that link updated at all times so that you're getting the latest offers when you are signing up for a TikTok ads account. In order to sign up, you just wanna to go to this page and click on get started and then go through the process. It takes less than than five minutes to go through and set up your account. Once you have gone through and set up your account, it's going to drop you into a view that looks something like this. And you can see here, this is how you can go through and actually create your first TikTok ad. If for whatever reason, your view looks a little bit different, be sure to click on campaigns right here and then create campaign. It will take you to this view that we are seeing right now. If you want to learn more about these advertising objectives, I have a full video dedicated to this. You can check out in the link down below. We're going to choose the traffic objective here, and then it's going to ask for a campaign name. We're just going to name this simply traffic, get rid of all the letters there, especially categories you can go through and declare if you're in one of these three industries but for most people it's not going to apply we're going to leave all three of these boxes unchecked right now then we're going to hit continue and next we need to choose an optimization location most people you will be sending traffic to a website if you have an app you can choose that there for placements we want to be sure we check on this select placements and it only run on TikTok and Pangle I've noticed from the performance that TikTok is the one that we want to show up for and where I get the best results you can test this if you would like to but I am going to be only showing on TikTok we want to make sure that this includes search results button is checked on. This makes it so that you can show up for specific keywords related to your product when people are searching on TikTok. The next thing that we have here is the targeting. And when it comes to targeting, if you want to keep this really simple, you can see that TikTok actually recommends that you leave this pretty wide open and let TikTok go through and decide your targeting. And I can tell you from personal experience, this does work very well. So if you didn't want to worry about targeting and just have TikTok go through and find your customers for you, you can just scroll all the way down and go here directly to the budgets and schedules. But if you wanted a little bit more option on your targeting, I want to go through some of the things that you need to know. This is the location targeting. If you click on this, these are the current locations that you can target. Note that you can't target every, anywhere in the world. These are the certain places. So you want to make sure you are targeting your specific target location. Down here, you can choose the age brackets that you want to charge, the gender languages, and the household income. But what most people will be interested in targeting is the interest and behavior. This is where TikTok can become very powerful. If you click down on this, you'll notice that there are different targeting options. You can see in this bucket, you can either target by purchase intention, video interactions, creator interactions, or hashtag interactions. For this, we are targeting targeting people who want to buy a tripod for their phone. So we're going to come over here to purchase intentions. And you can see there are lots of different drop downs here. I want to come over to down to tech and electronics, click this little drop down. And you can see there's more drop downs here, cell phones, and then cell phone accessories. So I want to target people who are currently have purchase intention for cell phone accessories. You can see once I select that in this right hand column, it's going to give us an idea of our audience size. You can go through and add multiple interests and behaviors inside of here if you would like, but I generally recommend keeping one to three to keep it simple. And if you're new to the targeting, I would recommend you to just come through here and click through all of the different ways that you can target so you can get a little bit familiar on the options that are out there. Next, we need to go through and set the budget for our campaign. You can either do a daily budget or a lifetime budget. The minimum amount that the daily budget needs to be set to is $20 a day. So take note of that. You can schedule a start date and an end date if you wanted to set those options. And you can also run your ads during a specific time here. And now it's going to ask for our optimization goal. I would generally recommend keeping this on clicks. And then here for the cost cap per click, I would recommend if this is your first time running an ad, leaving this blank so that you can start collecting data and understanding what your cost per click should actually be. If you absolutely wanted to set a cost per click, you can set that around a dollar. But as I mentioned, for this example, I'm going to leave it completely blank so that we can understand what a competitive bid actually looks like. Then we're going to hit continue here. Now we are going to talk about how to actually create your ad. You can see here you have the identity. You can go through and use a Spark ad from one of your profiles if you would like to. I have a full video on how to run a Spark ad if that's what you're looking to do, but it's a little bit more of an advanced feature. What we want to do next is set our custom identity. And here you can go through and grab a little profile picture, your business logo, whatever it may be. We're just going to grab a logo here. So there we have our logo and phones are us as our brand name. We're going to hit create here. And you can see what that's going to do is replace the little icon right here. And that will allow you to set your custom identity here on this right hand side. When it comes to ad formats, you have two different options. You can either run a video or now you can actually run something called carousel image ads. So if you didn't want to go through the hassle of creating a full video, you could go and grab some images and run them as a carousel ad. Once again, I have a full tutorial on how to set up carousel ads down below in the description if you wanted more information on that. Now, if you are looking to create a single video ad, I often get the question on how to go through and make those or what the options are. If you're curious, there are three options. You can either make it yourself. You can hire a creator, otherwise called UGC, user generated content, or you can have AI do it. There are pros and cons to all three of these options. And there are tools that I would recommend for all three of these options. If you're going to choose one of them, feel free to pause the video right here and review this sheet. I will also leave links down below to all the tools that I recommend, but I'm not going to be covering how 
would actually go through and create a video in this tutorial. So we are going to select a single video option here. And then from here, you can either upload a new video or choose from your library or create one completely from scratch. From this one, we're just going to choose one from the library that I've already uploaded. We're gonna grab this phone tripod right here. Next, you wanna make sure you go through and add some text. It needs to be under a hundred characters. And then you can go through and choose your call to action. Make sure you click this down and make sure the call to actions are applicable to your specific video. So we're gonna do shop now for this one and shop and order today, order immediately, buy today, order yours now. We're gonna select all of these. And obviously the more call to actions you select, the better so that TikTok can go through and test those in real time. Then we're gonna scroll down here to the URL, make sure that the destination is inside of here that you put the URL. Over here on this right-hand side, you can see a preview of what this will look like in feed and also in the search results for your specific ad. If you used AI in your ad at all, be sure you check this box here and be sure that this box is unchecked. You don't ever wanna check that box right there. And then finally just go through and hit publish all and your ad will go live. If you would like to see a more in depth depth video on TikTok ads, be sure to check out the video on your screen right now. Also, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video. We'll see you in the next one.